So today we are doing a try on haul and I'm going to do a bit of styling with these items, okay honey? So I want to try stuff on and I want to get your thoughts on whether you think I should keep or return the things. The one thing I'm going to do a bit differently than all of the other people doing these kind of videos is I'm actually going to show you how I would wear these items because I am ultimately buying items that I ideally want to keep in my wardrobe. So when I purchase items, in my mind, I know how I want to wear them. I really want to bring that styling element onto the channel just so that I can show you how you can realistically wear things from Zara and innovate them and integrate them with the rest of your wardrobe in a way that makes them look just so much more polished. So if that's not something that is piquing your interest, the first two items that I'm wearing um, are a top and these culottes trousers. This shirt is absolutely stunning. I love the quality. Absolutely love this button detail and that the material matches the material of the entire shirt. Another detail that I absolutely love is the fact that the buttons are hidden. So it's got like a hidden button um, kind of feature, which I think always elevates a shirt. It also has a silky feel. It feels absolutely smooth and breathable on the body. I do know that from a colorway perspective, this comes in another colorway, I think a black and white one. Personally, I'm really loving the green and that's why I went with the green colorway as opposed to the black and white one. With these culottes, they are so comfortable. I don't know what it is about me. I don't know if I'm getting a bit older, but I am really loving trousers over jeans these days. They just wear much better. They are way more comfortable. And the thing that I love about trousers is that you can actually dress them up or down as opposed to jeans, which it's really hard to dress jeans up. It almost always looks semi-casual. So this is essentially what the bottom of the outfit looks like. You can actually still see the top, which is great. And these shoes also are from Zara. I got them quite a while ago, but I have seen that they are still on some shelves. So maybe if you're lucky, you could score yourself a pair of these. These are my most requested and complimented shoes. So I wear them all the time. And the thing that I love about these shoes is that they are super, super comfortable. Everything that I'm wearing right now, as I mentioned, is from Zara, from the shoes to the culottes and this top. And I actually really like this. Um, so this I am probably going to keep and I can imagine that I'll have a lot of wear out of these items. Okay, so let me get some accessories, just so that I can show you guys how I would elevate this outfit just a little, a tad bit more um, with accessories. So I'd either just wear like a gold necklace or pearls. I've already got pearls in my ears. So if you're wanting a look that's a bit more succinct, you go for this. If you are wanting something that is a little bit laid back and casual, like this. And then with the bag, I'd definitely do something that is like a shoulder kind of bag. Nothing crossbody, nothing toty, so something just like super small and compact. Is it just me or is denim back? Okay, so the next dress is not quite working out. I bought a medium. I thought, I really, really did think that the medium would fit me, but evidently not, and it's quite tight. So this is definitely not the look that I was going for. In my mind, I'm in Cape Town. I'm on the beach at Camps Bay, I have my sunglasses on, I'm a go yacht tote and I'm just, you know, strolling, strolling, enjoying life, manifesting being a lady of leisure. But this is, it's giving something else on the opposite spectrum of being a lady of leisure. For this dress, I have changed my earrings from the pearls to these gold loops. With the earrings, I have added in a complimentary gold cuff. I'm just going to add one on the arm because normally I have my watch on the other side. So this is a shoe action. These are my absolute favorite shoes that I have traveled with. I wear them every chance I get. They're super comfortable. These are not from Zara. They are from Country Road and they are literally more comfortable than Birkenstocks. And obviously because it's pulling casual, I would add my Goyard St. Louis GM totes. So this is a dress. I'm really sad that it doesn't fit me. I definitely won't be keeping this dress because it, it's not going to work out. Next on the list, these trousers. I don't think that these are linen. I have paired these trousers with my linen top. This top is up from Zara. This is the only item from Zara in this look. This is also just a blue linen top from Country Road. I think that Country Road makes these 
ever so often, especially around the summertime, there are a lot of them, different colorways. I've kept my accessories on as well. I've still got the gold earrings and I still have my slides on. So as you can see, this is a super casual look, but also still very put together. It's giving old money and we're going for brunch. So I would definitely wear it like this. But I think if you want to add some personality to it and make a few changes that will elevate the look even more and personalize it even more, this is what I would do. Let's see if the belt is attached to these trousers at the back. It doesn't come off, but it's always a good idea to switch out the belt. It just personalizes the outfit a bit more for you. This is the belt that I was going to go with. This is a leather belt. It is from Trenary. I love it because it's actually a reversible belt. So you pay one price for two different belts and you switch out the buckle in this way. I bought this quite some time ago, so it's probably no longer available, but I would wear this navy blue belt. It does have a cool tone, so you would need to change out your jewelry. Some people do mix gold and silver, but I don't know here. <laughs> I'm a bit traditional in the way that I do things. I'd switch out my shoes just to give it a bit of a more formal look and I'd go with any white tennis shoes throw this over because we're obviously channeling the tennis look now so ah, you need to commit to the aesthetic and then obviously the tote which goes under the jersey and that will be oh wait one more thing I'm not a sunglass person guys but I like things so obviously now we can't change out the belt we're still keeping it with the gold tone the gold cuff the gold earrings and I just want to wear my Celine Triumph sunglasses. These are the ones with just the black frame and they've got the Triumph logo. These sunglasses are so heavy so I don't want to put them directly on my face. I don't want my makeup to smudge but this would be the look. You get it. You feel me. This outfit is pretty too casual so I personally would not wear it out for a lunch. This is essentially the, the look that I would go for. for a nice little brunch or an excursion honey, but not when we're breaking the sweats because we don't do that on this channel. Okay, let's move on to the next items. This is a fitted um, bodysuit and I love the square neck of the fitted bodysuit. I think that it actually makes the bodysuit a bit more formal. The trousers actually don't have pockets, they have a dotted back. These are a UK 10. They are fitting quite tight on me in an uncomfortable way for me personally. So I don't like those to fit me in this manner. What I would probably do is I'd size up to a UK 12 if one is still available or I just return the trousers. It would be unfortunate though because I really love the way that they fit on the body. I love how they come in. They are high waist. I just don't like how tight they are in these areas, which would make me super uncomfortable about wearing them in the office. Where do I envision someone wearing this outfit? Definitely in the office. I personally would not wear it like this and be like, I'm done. I do not like showing my shoulders or my armpits or my toes in the office. I think it's a bit too exposed for me personally and for my brand, so I do not do that. If I wanted to make this a corporate office look, this is how I'd essentially innovate it. So because the neckline is really not doing a lot and the girls are tucked in and they are covered, I feel like we can accessorize. So I would wear this pearl necklace. The next thing that I would do is switch out my earrings as well. Just so that we have a cohesive look from an accessories perspective. I would add on a blazer and I'd also add in like a satchel looking bag that doesn't take away from the outfit. Because it is work, we're trying to keep it low-key, but classy. This blazer is also from Zara. Um, it also has these cute little buttons. This was a winter blazer, so I would get something like this, but a bit more lighter for the summer. But this is essentially what I would look like if I was to go to the office with this look. Let me just give you guys a little twirl. That's literally how I would elevate it to wear it in the office. Let's move on to the next outfit. So the next item is this top. I think it's absolutely stunning. It's vented on the sides and it actually gives you like a nice cute little silhouette because it comes in at the waist. Don't know if you can see that on camera and if it translates, but I think it's absolutely, absolutely stunning. I've decided to pair it with my Armani trousers. If you follow me on the socials on Instagram, you would have seen these mules. I love them so much. Let me show you guys a close up actually. Here's a close up of the mules. I love them so much. I wear them every chance I get. These I got from Europa Arts, also a few years ago definitely tucked out them in because 
It has quite a lot of detail that you don't want to hide. The only thing I don't like about this shirt is that it is quite thin. And for that reason, I really don't know if I will keep it. I do love, as I said, I mean, I buy fast fashion, but I want to ensure that the items that I buy are going to last me for multiple seasons before I need to replace the shirts. I feel like white shirts are such a temperamental thing and you think, oh, it's actually quite easy. It's just a white shirt, but it actually is not. And as a result, I own maybe one white shirt. The quality of the material that is used on these shirts is very important to me. This is, I believe, a 100% pure cotton shirt, but I just don't like how thin it is. And I can actually see how easily it could yellow. It is also a bit of a transparent shirt, which I personally do not like. And as a result of it being transparent, it's not fully white, which also bothers me. Actually, this is already from you guys. Let me know in the comment section if I should keep this shirt or not. Like, am I being delusional about the things I just stated? Or do you guys agree that I should return it and look for a shirt that is a bit more high quality? The fit is perfect. The sleeves are perfect. Um, but I'm just not sure on the quality and the durability. So help me out with this one. Okay, let's move on to the next item. <sighs> Guys, I'm turning up, but we're almost there. I have one more item to show you. There's actually two, but I don't know if I'll show you the last one, as in I'll try it on, or I'll just put it on camera. So this is the next item. These are also sling bags. As you already have figured, I love sling bags, and you will be seeing quite a lot of them on this channel. I think I showed you three of my pairs on this um, specific video. These, I think, are a bit casual leaning. I mean, they are formal. You can wear them with this outfit. I would definitely wear this going out to church or seeing my friends, um, going out for lunch. And I love the heel. I think it's a doable size because, you know, comfort really does matter to me. And I think it can look cute and classy and stylish and still be comfortable. So <laughs> these are them. What I would actually wear these with is jeans. And I do really want to show you guys this look. Just give me a second, let me put it together. Okay, so this is the look with the shoes. When I said you can wear it down with jeans, this is what I was going for. And then you just throw on your bag and you're good to go. These are the shoes up front. I don't know if you can see them. And they've got this little weaving and what I would call like an almond toe. They are sling back and the heel so super durable and manageable, which I love because you don't need to break your back when you're trying to look cute. I will definitely keep them. They are super comfortable. I thought that I'd be getting cut by this perspex or like plasticky part, but not at all. It's super comfortable. But then again, I have a very narrow foot. So if you have a wide foot, maybe that will be an issue for you. I have a sneeze in me. Please excuse my face. Um, but yeah, for me, because my foot is quite narrow and small and thin, these these work so i'm definitely keeping these okay so this is the last item it's like a what do you call this a visor but it's actually a visor made of raffia which i think is quite cute i got it in the size medium but i'm assuming it's like a one size fits all honestly and it's got this back part that is elasticated and you put it over your head i wanted this for my upcoming holiday so I didn't just want like something standard and that's why I went for it. I like that it's got a hook so that you can, you know, put it on like that a bit easier and then you hook it back. And this is essentially what it looks like. I don't want to wear it. I don't want to get makeup on it. Okay, I didn't get makeup on it. But this is the last item. It's my visor and I think it's super cute so I'm going to keep it. Okay, my love. So that is essentially all that I have for you guys today. Let me know how you enjoyed this video. This is definitely quite different to the content that I usually bring on the channel, but I thought it would be fun. I received quite positive feedback on my ooted and fashion content on Instagram. I thought, why not bring it over to YouTube? Let me know which outfits were your favorites and which I should probably send back. You know, sometimes when you're filming, you can't really see how things are looking uh, because I am using a small little screen to check the outfit out. So let me know what you think I should return. Let me know what you absolutely love and what you want to get your hands on and yeah i'll see you in the next one ciao for now